Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the top three reasons why I like to use the model view in Power BI Desktop so much. Stay tuned. All right, the model view. Whenever I'm designing data models, I'm looking for the fastest and easiest way to do things. And the model view just happens to provide all the capabilities and the features that I need to make my modeling experience so much greater, so much intuitive, right? And I love to use it. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about my top three reasons why, all right? But you gotta stay tuned till the end to see a little trick I like to do when I'm kinda grouping my columns and my measures together, all right? So you gotta watch all the way to the end to see it, all right? Okay, so, all right, all right. So I wanna talk about these three reasons. I'm gonna start with number three, right? Number three is these different views that I can create of my model. Like if I have multiple fact tables or multiple ways I wanna look at the relationships and I wanna consolidate them to smaller pieces, right? You can do that with the model view and that's what I'm gonna show you. All right, enough of all this talking, you guys know what I like to do? Let's head over to my laptop. All right, so we'll head over to the model view and we'll take a look at the model view and you can see I have three fact tables. And what I'd like to is for these two fact tables to only see the tables that's related to those particular tables. In this view, it's just everything, right? If I click this little tab, I'm gonna choose IS, right? This is gonna be my internet sales one. I'm gonna drag internet sales over to the model surface and then right click and choose add related tables. Bam, right? That's all the related tables. You can see it just like that. And then I'm gonna add a new tab just for reseller sales. And I'm just shorthanding this. You could type what you want. I'm gonna go ahead and drag reseller sales there and do the exact same thing, right? And so now I have the different views of the model view that I wanna look at. That's crazy, right? That's great. So now I'm kind of focused in just on those fact tables and their related dimensions. It works, it's pristine. I have a really nice intuitive view of just those specific items. It's great, that's number three, all right? So what's number two, Patrick? Well, number two is when I need to hide multiple columns, when I need to turn off default summarization, when I need to put um, columns in specific folders to do formatting, right? If you use the normal view, the report view, or the data view, you gotta do them one at a time. But if you use a model view, you can do it a lot of them together at once, all right? So again, right, that's number two. Let's head to my laptop, let me show you. All right, so check this out. If I'm over here in the report view and I expand out fact internet sales, I have a couple of keys and they're set to summarize, right? And I wanna change the default summarization. If I click this one, column tools will appear in the ribbon, then I could turn off default summarization. Then I would do it for this one, this one, this one. Oh, it's so much work. If I head over to the model view, I go back to fact internet sales, click on currency key, hold down shift, click another one, hold down shift, click another one. And so that'll multi-select across a range. If I click on currency key and then hold down control, I can select you know, individual items. So I have these three selected and I wanna turn off default summarization, right? Expand advanced, if it's not expanded, then you can see summarize by, change that to none. If I head back over to the report view, you'll see that the little sigma symbol no longer exists for those. And now I've just turned off default summarization for multiple items all at once. That's great, right? It's so easy, it's so fast. If I wanna do this for multiple columns, I can do it without going one at a time, right? I can select multiple columns at the same time, change the format and change the visibility, put them in folders, do whatever I wanna do, right? It's so easy, so nice, all right. That's number two. So number one, the multiple data views. Number two, multi-select. You can do multiple things at the same time. What's number three? Well, number three is the concept of folders. I love these folders because no matter how much work you do on your facts and your dimensions, sometimes you have measures, sometimes you have columns, sometimes you need different groupings and using these folders, you can do that, right? And so that's what I'm gonna show you. That's number one, let's head back to my laptop. All right, so we'll go back to the model view and what I've done on internet sales, you can see I have all of these, I have these two measures and I have all these columns. So I wanna hide, first I wanna hide every other column besides my measure. So I click one, head on down, hold down control, and it'll select just individual items where I meant to say was click on this one, hold down shift, and then click on that, all right? It selects all those. I'm gonna go ex ex collapse, advance, expand general, and say hide, 
I'm gonna hide all those, right? And I'm gonna do the same thing for the rest of the columns. I'm gonna do this, right? And then turn on is hidden. So I've hit all the columns. If I head back over to the report view, you'll see in fact the internet sales, I only see these two uh, measures. And what I wanna do is put these measures in folders and then I wanna kinda have subfolders and only show quantity in the quantity folder and sales in the sales folder. How would you do that? Well, let's head back over to my model view. I'm gonna choose quantity and sales and I'm gonna put them both in the measures folder. Let's do that. Perfect. Just find, you know, expand general, find your display folder and type the word measures. So whatever you want to call it, head back to my report view and you'll see they're both in the measures folder, right? But what I'd like to do is put total quantity in a quantity folder and sales in a sales folder. Let's head back to my model view. And what I'm going to do is click on quantity, put a slash and type the word quantity, right? And then I'm going to click on the measure sales. And then I'm gonna put a slash and type sales and bam. Now I created subfolders within my measure folder. If I head back to my report view, you can see, right? Now I have these just kind of, I have measures. And then if I expand out my measures, I can see I have quantity and sales and all the corresponding measures in that, in those particular folders. What? This is bananas. This is great. I love it. Three great reasons, right? You can quickly look at things. You can quickly hide things, format things, and you can quickly group things with your folders using the model view. This is great. This is bananas. What do you guys think? Are you using these features today when you're doing data modeling? If you're not, then you should be. If you have questions about it, if you have concerns, you know what to do. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like my video, a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.